Can you guess how many products I've managed to finish so far this year? Let's dive into my empties and find out. And grab a snack, girl, because it's a lot. Today, we're talking about product empties again. And if you're not familiar with empties are, they're just products that we've managed to use up completely. Now, I like talking about empties because not only does it help us reflect on the products that we love and the products that we don't, but it also helps us to be encouraged to be mindful of our consumption and you know make sure that we're not being wasteful with our products. Using our products means making a conscious effort to finish what we have before we buy more. And if you're new, welcome. Or if you've been here before, welcome back. Let's jump right into it. This time I don't have any makeup, just good old skincare and body care. We'll start with body care. The first product that I emptied was this Neutrogena Rain Bath. I like this body wash because it's easily accessible. You can get it from Target uh, or a Walmart. I like this brand, I like, okay. <laughs> This is the original scent. It's something about this scent that's very clean to me. A lot would argue differently, but I liked it. This is a pretty decent price for the amount that you get, and this lasted me for a very long time. I've repurchased this several times, so I definitely will repurchase it again. <clears throat> Sticking with body wash, my next empty is a Necessary Body Wash in the scent Eucalyptus. This was a really nice body wash. Most of my stuff did come from Sephora. This does have niacinamide in it, which improves the appearance of discoloration. I really I really enjoyed this. It felt like I was um, in a spa. This may be like my third or fourth bottle of this. I would definitely recommend this. They do have a new scent out. It has a brown cap on it and I can't, I'm, I'm really looking forward to trying that out. Since we're talking about body washes with niacinamide in it, I emptied this Youth to the People um, niacinamide body cleanser. This was really good. This had, oh, this smells so good. I think I kind of gravitate towards cleansers that have that clean fresh scent to them and this this is what that has if you've used youth to the people products before they are known to have that natural plant superfood scent to them that i really like this one is no different this one has notes of cedar wood black pepper fresh greens to uplift and elevate self sign me up i really enjoy using this this lathered really good on my skin both of these smell similar you get more for your money with this for 39 dollars, you get 16.4 fluid ounces in this this is 8.4 fluid ounces for 25 dollars. so you'll get more you get more by purchasing this but i think they both just give you that spotlight like self-care feeling i really enjoy both of them though i am a big fan of you to the people so i would repurchase this again these next products took me by surprise that's the tatcha forest awakening i got the body wash this has that same fresh clean uh, scent it has a physical exfoliator embedded in this. It's very mild though, it's real gentle. It's not like an actual scrub, but it does have little small little beads in it that kind of help buff off dead skin. This only has 6.7 fluid ounces in it for $34. I really don't see a need to get this when I have my You To The People or my, my Necessaire. You can use your own tree hut body scrub if you really want to exfoliate. So I just didn't think that it was worth how much it was. It has that wood earthy scent to it. These last three products, they do have that relaxing, um, component to it that I like, but I just wouldn't, I wouldn't repurchase this again. But it also came with a matching body milk and a matching body oil. Honestly, I think what you really pay for is the packaging on this. Um, I ran through these really quickly, I'll tell you. I just don't think that it's worth repurchasing for me. I would not repurchase these. If I had to choose one, it would be the body oil. It stayed on my skin for a very long time, made it very smooth, very shiny, very glowy. The body milk I found was really thin. It wasn't really moisturizing to me, it just kind of just, it was like water. It, uh, not, not really, but it just wasn't thick enough for me to justify the price of, of for this. I wouldn't buy none of these again. <laughs> you know, you can buy uh, similar products for for a cheaper price. This is how long I've had these sit these empty sitting. I got gunk and all type of stuff. I can't wait to throw these away, girl. These are the fresh sugar lychee body and shower gel, and I also got the lotion. These were okay. The scent is very very faint. If you're looking for an experience with your self care products to hit you in the face with with a fragrance that's not this this is it's a really faint scent especially in the lotion i 
really did not get a lot of that and cheese smell from the lotion personally. I personally wouldn't, would not repurchase them again. They really didn't do anything for me. Now I could throw them away. <laughs> I did empty my um, Jack Black hand cream. This is a good hand cream. If you're looking for something that smells like a woman, this is not it. <laughs> this hand cream is really good, but it smells like a dude. It's not greasy, very moisturizing. I remember getting this, it was very cold, and none of the none of the moisturizers that I was using was helping. But you know how in the winter time, your hands especially can get really dry, your knuckles and your cuticles? This is really good for that. I believe Jack Black is tailored towards men anyway, and I can understand that. It did the job. I will probably repurchase this again when it gets colder and use it as like a night cream for my hands. This would also be a good gift for a man too, so just you can keep that in mind. Body butter. This is the Warm Cinnamon Butter Drop Body Butter. This smells like a gingerbread cookie. I love this. It's seasonal, I believe. It's not on the Sephora site right now. I would buy this again. Fancy Butter Drop, period, I would repurchase. This have your skin shining, glowy, beautiful, beautiful skin. Hopefully they bring this back in stock soon because I would repurchase this. This next product, if you have not tried this body butter right here, I'm gonna need you to do that. I'm gonna need you to try this out, man, because, oh my God, look at that. She's gone, she gone. Not the scent, but this puts me in the mindset of the Naturium body butter, the Glow Getter body butter. It has that same consistency and it makes your skin very glowy and very moisturized. The teeniest amount of this goes a very long way. She is not the most affordable, but you only need a little bit. A little bit of this, I'm telling you, goes just a, a very long way. So I, I've had this for a very long time. And I definitely, definitely will repurchase this again. This has notes of yuzu green tea and blonde woods to set your dreams in flight. Girl, come on. Who don't want that? Who don't want to have a dream set in flight? Out of everything I've mentioned from this body care, if you don't get nothing, get this. And then come back and let me know what you think. This last uh, body pro body care product, it's actually a foot repair cream. This is called Amlactin. I got this from Target. It's a 15% lactic acid foot cream. My feet can get really dry sometimes. This right here, use this for like a week. I use this right after I get out the shower at night. Put this on your feet. You only need a little bit. Put this on your feet and then put some socks on. Do this for like a week. Your feet gonna feel like a baby's butt. This is really good. Like, and I don't know anybody, including men, who don't want some soft feet. I don't know. Maybe you got a husband or a boyfriend that got some really rough feet. Give buy, buy them this. Put this in their stocking stuff or something. Really enjoyed this. I have another one already in my room that I'm using. So yes, I I, I have been repurchasing this. Two perfumes and a candle. The first fragrance I emptied was my flower bomb. I have a lot of fragrances, but this is one of my classic babies right here. I love this fragrance. I'm gonna try to explain how she smells. <laughs> I'm not good with explaining scents. I'm gonna give you a scenario instead. Just, just stay with me. Imagine a woman not a girl, a woman. She works a nine to five, okay? She's a corporate lady. She handles her business, she don't play. This is what this is, okay? This is a floral, a floral fragrance with notes of vanilla jasmine and orange blossom. This fragrance is just, just so captivating to me. Like I will always repurchase it. This is my third bottle of this, by, by the way. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fragrance. Um, if you haven't tried this, go try it out. And then I finally emptied my princess fragrance from Killian. You know I've had this for a while because this is the old packaging. She's gone, I don't even hear no more. Can I get some of water here? Ooh, ooh. And can. Oh, oh my God, this smells. This has notes of ginger, green tea, and marshmallow. What I get a lot of is that marshmallow. This reminds me of a young lady. She just started college. She just finished high school, going into college. She knows what she wants, but she still, you know, it was on her journey. This is what this smells like to me. It smells like a warm hug, still very playful. I really enjoyed this. Definitely will be repurchasing this. I envy the candle. I bought it online, so I didn't know what I was getting myself into. I got it doing the semi-annual sale, and I like books. So I was like, why not? Why not get the get the candle that smell like a book loft? And I don't know what it's supposed... Yeah, I don't know. 
Yeah, I don't know what it's supposed to smell like, y'all. When you smell a candle, it's a, it can be a different scent than when you light it. That's what I was hoping for. But there was no throw. I did not smell anything. I didn't enjoy it. It's still on the website. Try it if you want to. I just, it was, I wasn't a fan of it. I would not repurchase this. Skincare. Moving on to skincare. I'm just going to start in the order of, of application. Clearly, your girl loves you to the people. I mean, it's a really good brand. I really, I really respect what they stand for. Um, they use all natural ingredients. Um, they are on the more pricier side, but their ingredients and their products is just top tier. This is the uh, the viral kale and green tea spinach vitamin superfood cleanser. This is the refill bottle, so I have the regular bottle in my bathroom. That's how much I like it. I, I've emptied a refill, so that I mean, this is so good. This is really good for people who have oily skin. I would argue that if you have really dry skin, this is this may not be for you. That's how effective it is with removing oil. This is my go-to cleanser um, that I would spend coin on. <laughs> that cleanser is um, Caudalie Vinapure, Vinapure. I don't know. Caudalie has really good products, but I like this because when you think of a cleanser, you automatically expect for it to just lather up real good and like that kind of dictates if it's a good cleanser or not, which is not true. It doesn't have a big lather, but it, it packs a real big punch. It really does uh, does very well with cleansing your skin and it does not strip your skin. I will repurchase this again. It did what it needed to do. Um, it was very gentle as well. This, these next products, I don't know why people are sleeping on these, but I really enjoyed these milk makeup cleansing products. This is a cream cleanser. These are vegan products. I don't know what that means. I don't, what drew me to these products initially was the packaging. I mean, it's cute. But when I started using it, I really understood. Sulfate free vegan milks to wash away makeup without stripping skin. And that's, a, that's exactly what it does. I use this at night and then I would go in with the moisturizer. Very thick and very luxurious. I really enjoy using this at night. They're fragrance free, which I also really appreciated. These two products I definitely will recommend and I will be buying these again. So I got two eye creams I want to talk about. This first eye cream, Drunk Elephant Ceramide Eye Balm. This particular product, I did not like this. Made my eyes water so bad. So at first, I thought I, I thought I may I may have been using too much. So I tried to use less. Didn't work. Every time I applied it, like my eyes would just start to run, like just pr profusely. Check the reviews before you buy your products because if you see the same type of review, that's probably something to look into. A lot of the reviews on this were not good. I had to stop using this under my eyes, but what I did do, I repurposed her. I started using this as a hand cream at night, and I did see a difference. We were not going to not finish this, no ma'am. If you find a product that you're using is not suitable for what it's, what it's meant to be for, try to repurpose it and see if you can use it for something else. My experience may be different than someone else's, but I, I just can't recommend it. However, this next eye cream, I can recommend. Cora Organic eye cream. Off the bat, I just love the fact that it's refillable. This eye cream was very moisturizing for my under eye. Really good before my makeup. And I will be repurchasing this. Really beautiful packaging too. The next product I emptied was my Tatcha The Essence. Now I love this product. I like this product because it's moisturizing as hell. Like this lasted me a very, very, very long time. This has claims to plump and moisturize the skin and I can say that it does do that. Would I repurchase this? Yes, but not right now. My next empty is this Paula's Choice Pro Collagen Multi-Peptide Booster. I didn't really see a difference for me to say that I will repurchase this again. However, this is by Numbuzin. This is a collagen serum. This is a thicker consistency than this. This is more like milky, kind of milky. I could really feel this on my skin. I could feel that something was different when I used this. It's something about that Korean skincare, guys. I'm telling y'all, like, it's something that they know that we don't know. If you're looking to purchase a, a collagen product, if you don't want to justify spending the money on this, because this is kind of pricey, try this out. I got this from YesStyle, and I really enjoyed it. I have another one in my, in my bathroom right now, and I would recommend this. Fraction of the price of this. I emptied my Glossier After Bomb Barrier Moisturizer Cream. This is good. 
This plays really well under makeup. I like this moisturizer. It is 1.7 ounces. I just wish there was more in here. It just, for some, for some reason, it seems like there's not a lot in here. I don't know. But I guess because it was so good, I want more. <laughs> I would repurchase this again, yes. And it's fragrance free, which I really love. Beauty of Hoseon Dynasty Cream. Korean skincare brand. This is a really good moisturizer. Very inexpensive. Very similar to this. This, this is more thick. This is a little bit more thicker, I will say. But very similar. They're both fragrance free. This is like, I think, $32. This is $20. So that, that's a difference to me. If you don't want to spend that for this, consider the Dynasty Cream. I get my skincare from YesStyle. If you're looking for affordable skincare, the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. This was okay. People rave about this moisturizer. The issue I have with this, there's a fragrance in here that's really strong. And I didn't really see if that it did anything for me. Honestly, I think it's just more packaging that, you know, the packaging and the name that you're paying for, really. I would not buy this again. Now I can say I used it, you know, and I had, I experienced it but this last moisturizer look, don't come for me she's very expensive but boy my La Mer, this right here y'all she's gone yep gone now granted i don't use this moisturizer regularly because she's very expensive very and, and I, I am aware of that this moisturizer has healing properties let me explain so i have eczema a lot of times i get eczema on my my eyelids Sometimes I get little patches here and there on my face. When I use this, now I won't say immediately, but the next day my eczema is gone. This one ounce jar will last me like two years, which is the expiration date anyway. <laughs> but it lasts me so long, I don't use it every day. Really great for dry skin, so I definitely use this at night. This is this is definitely a night cream for me. Yeah, I will recommend this. It is a purchase, so just keep that in mind. You know, if you wanna treat yourself one day, I'm, I'm here for it. I will continue to purchase this during the Sephora sale. <laughs> I only buy these during the Sephora sale. Keep that in mind too. I have two lip products that I did empty and they're both from Tatcha. First Tatcha lip gloss is a Camellia Gold Spun Lip Balm. This was pretty good. It has like some little gold flecks in it. I didn't really get anything from that. Nothing groundbreaking about this to make me want to purchase it again. This one on the other hand. This is the Tatcha Kisu Lip Mask. Love this. This was so moisturizing for my lips. I use this as a lip mask for my lips at night. When I woke up in the morning, my lips just felt different. They felt very, they felt like brand new lips, <laughs> if that make any sense. Also comes with a little spatula you can use so you don't have to worry about using your hands to, to dig into it to put on your lips. So I really appreciate that. Definitely will buy this again. Definitely will recommend this. That is it, y'all. Now I wanna hear from you. What empties have you finished up that are worth talking about? And what empties did you not like so much? Let us know in the comments. If you like these types of videos, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.